Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about how to do a general service on your Entoc 125 or any other scooters. So let's begin. Start by removing the drain bolt using an appropriate socket. Make sure that you don't use any open-ended spanners as the drain bolt is made of soft material which may result in bolt slippage. Drain out the oil completely. Once this is done, take out the oil strainer if your scooter has one. Clean the strainer using WD-40 and keep it aside. Now while the oil is draining, start opening the air filter cover. Here in Entoc, the cover is held by four screws. Once all the screws are removed, remove the cover out. Now you can pull out the old filter. You can see the condition of the old filter here and always replace them instead of cleaning and reusing the same. Clean the inner surface of the air box thoroughly and then install a new air filter as shown. Now install the cover back and tighten all its four screws. Now let's change the transmission oil, which is also known as gear oil. Remove the transmission oil drain bolt using a 12mm ring spanner or a socket. Let this gear oil drain completely. You can rotate the rear wheel to force the oil to come out if it's too old. You need not replace this gear oil in all the services, but you can do it in an alternative one. While it's draining, spray some WD-40 on the rear wheel nut and crack open with a 22mm socket. Once the nut is removed, take out the washer and remove the alloy wheel out of the bike. Now let's take out the old brake shoe as shown. This is the old brake shoe which has been serving its purpose for a long time. I'll be replacing it with a new one and as always make sure get a genuine replacement part. Now you can see the difference between the old and the new brake shoes. Before doing anything further, clean the brake shoe pivot and the housing area. Now roughen the mating surface with a fine grit sandpaper and then clean with the paper towel. Now I'll be using some grease for lubricating the pivot and the mounting points. Apply a thin layer of grease as shown. Do not over apply the grease which may cause brake slippage. The link to purchase the grease will be given in the description below. Now in order to install the new brake shoe, let's fold the new shoe as shown and place one side of it in the pivot and mounting points. Now as shown in the video, pull the other half and install the brake shoe on its position. Once this is done, install the alloy wheel and install its washer where the flat side is facing the wheel and tighten its nut with the socket. By this time, all the oil might be drained out. So install back all the strainer and the drain bolts and by removing the 2LMM filler bolt, start filling the gear oil as shown. Here I'm using a Castrol scooter oil which is of grade 80W90 and almost all scooter takes in approx 120ml of this. You can also use other brands like Motul which is of better performance. Once you fill in completely, tighten back the filler bolt, making sure that you keep the washer intact. Also, do not over tighten the bolt.
Now using a 12 mm socket, start removing the front caliper bolts. Here the brake hose is held by 8mm bolt which I will be removing for a better leverage to work. Once this is done, wiggle and take out the caliper. This is the old brake pad compared to the new one and I will be replacing this even though it has plenty of brake material left as this is very old and lost the braking bite. Now install the new pads onto its position as shown. Insert the lock pin and push to its position. Now lock it with the two clips provided. Using a flathead screwdriver, make some space between the brake pads for the brake disc to sit in. Insert the caliper onto the disc and secure it with two 12mm bolts that you removed. Install back the brake hose clamp bolt too which was of 8mm. Now let's fill in the new engine oil. I'll be using Motul 7100 10W40 fully synthetic oil here for a better performance and refinement. After filling around 880 to 900 ml of engine oil, tighten back the filler bolt. Now after removing the 4 10 mm bolts, pull back the boot and disconnect the two couplers as shown. Now remove the seat from the bike. Remove all the allen and the screws from both the side panels and then remove two screws near the footboard area. Now you can remove the front boot panel out. Using a spark plug socket, remove the spark plug out of the bike. It's time to replace the spark plug and you can see the old and the new one. You may choose to clean and reuse the same plug if you want. Make sure the spark gap is set properly. Now install the new spark plug. And using some WD-40, clean the plug cap and inspect for any corrosion. Now install all the panels back and tighten its screws. Install the seat and connect its couplers. And tighten all the 4 10mm bolts that you had removed before. Now finish it off with a water wash and then polishing. By this, the general service is completed. I hope this video was informative enough and if you people like this video, do consider subscribing to channel.